Hi, my name is Chris Burris. I'm one of the owners of SES Research, and today I wanted to talk about a particular product that, uh, that you can find on Amazon. Uh, it has some weird labeling. Uh, it's actually Toxin Buster, uh, and it says on it, Potentialized C60. We believe that's probably very misleading. People might actually assume that it's got some C60 in it, and in reality, uh, it does not have any C60. We'll be showing that here in a second. I did go on to Amazon UK, and there was actually a review of somebody who's kind of frustrated that this product is out there and I wanted to read this review. Of course, they gave it one, one star, and it's, this is a scam product, does not contain C60. He says, note to all, this product has been relisted due to the honest reviews about this product not containing C60. Uh, and the seller didn't like those reviews, so they closed that particular listing down and opened up another one. He says, fact, C60 is not in this product in large quanti enough quantities to be listed as a main ingredient. We're gonna agree with that, and we're gonna show you that here in a second. In fact, C60 is hugely expensive, so the amount used to be listed as a main ingredient does not equate to the cost of the manufacturer. So this particular product is selling on Amazon for $35.75. It has about 25 grams of carbon in it, uh, and just so you know, one gram of carbon 60 is currently about $340. So uh, it's very unlikely that it's got any C60 in it. In fact, we're gonna show that it doesn't. Fact, fact, C60 is not bioavailable to the body in powder form. This is absolutely true. There are many studies where they've given rats C60 and the rats have just excreted the C60 has never really been incorporated into their body. Uh, so we know that it's not bio bioavailable. Fact, C60 is bioavailable to the body in oil or as a fullerenol. Um, that's true. We've got products where we've got C60 in olive oil um, and, and we, the FDA hasn't evaluated these products and they, they aren't designed to diagnose or treat any particular diseases. And we are getting an amazing testimonials about what this product is offering to them. Or, or how it's benefiting people. Fact, C60 is extremely light sensitive, and if there is any in this product, which is hugely doubtful, it may well have oxidized during the manufacturing process. Um, so this is one of the myths that's actually out there, that C60 is incredibly light sensitive. The reality is, is when you're manufacturing C60 in the most common form, right, in the most common process right now, which is the carbon arc process, you're actually running an arc between two carbon rods, and that arc is the localized temperature of the sun and gives off the same radiation as the sun. So that's the environment that C60 is created in, right? And then as soon as it's created or it solidifies into the form of C60, it's still exposed to that light, that temperature of the sun. So it really is fairly stable um, in, in ultraviolet. The con concerns, he does mention uh, oxidized. Oxidation is one of the concerns. And so anytime you're storing C60, if you were to buy one of our products and, and maybe mix it or uh, do whatever experiment you're doing uh, with it, you would really, in an ideal situation, you want to nitrogen backfill it uh, and then make sure it's sealed, right? And that'll help prevent the uh, oxides that, excuse me, the ozone is really what C60 is reactive with. Uh, you just want to make sure that you keep ozone and ozone is, is prevalent in, and it's more prevalent in big cities like, like you know, we're here in Houston. Uh, so you want to make sure that you keep that, that cap on it. And then finally, this is an outright scam advertising at a C60. It is not. Do not be deceived. Only purchase C60 products from authorized sellers that have a proper website, a phone line for inquiries, and are working within the C60 industry and know and understand what C60 is. And then uh, on Amazon UK for the same product, there was a question and answer. And one of the answers given was it was asking about C60. And it said, the C60 fullerene molecule existed well before any lab manufactured versions. That's actually true. Uh, if you collect the soot from a candle flame uh, and analyze it, you can find parts per million of C60 in that candle flame soot. Um, and they are found in a number of natural materials, hardwoods being one of these, as the Japanese research shows. I'm not really uh, aware of any Japanese research that is showing that C60 is, uh, um, is found in Japanese hardwoods. Uh, the C C60 carbon has not been added to this charcoal. It exists within it naturally. We don't believe that to be true. And we're going to do a, a study here. Uh, I mean, just a quick, quick sample uh, of this product. I'm going to stick this right here. So what we're going to do, typically people have, we've been in business since 1991. We have people sending us Shungite and they send us uh, coal and they're like, hey, this has C60 in it. And the first thing that we would do if it were, say, a coal is we would grind it up and we'd put it in toluene. So what we're going to do is take this product, actually, we'll take one of these tablets 
and uh, we're going to put some C6, uh, some toluene. So this is a bottle of toluene. You can see it's actually dangerous. This is not something that you want to leave around. You want to be in a lab situation when you're working with toluene. We're going to suck this up uh, and we're going to fill some test tubes with our toluene right here. I'm actually going to put, that's most of one, we'll do one in the other. All right, so we're going to take some of this powder, we'll set this here, make sure that that all the way out, put this back on, keep the fumes in there. So we're going to take this, uh, this hardwood um, toxin buster, right? By the way, activated charcoal is known to do some good things and it's known to potentially absorb some toxins in your body. So I'm not, not knocking that piece. I'm just concerned when people are claiming or implying that C60 exists in a product that's, that's a, that doesn't actually have C60 in it. So I just want to be clear about that. I'm going to take this little capsule off, which of course this capsule is not, there we go. It wasn't agreeing with me. But we're just going to put that directly in some toluene. Put that off to the side. So we'll spin this up. Let that spin for about 20 seconds. Actually, we only really need to let it spin for about five seconds. All right, that goes there. And then I'm gonna take our C60. This is just one of the bottles we were about to ship. Uh, shipping department looked at me funny when I grabbed it and now we're, uh, we're using it in this little demonstration. I'm just gonna put some C60 powder in there. That's enough. And what you're going to notice really quickly, we'll do this one for the same about five seconds. What you're going to notice is that turns a beautiful purple color almost immediately. All right? In fact, let me get a brighter light on this. And that's probably too bright. There we go. So this is a beautiful purple color. All right? Now the other one is actually turned into, it's not, it's turned into a suspension, a bit of a suspension. So let me show that. Sorry about this disco environment. Um, so you can see that. And what I did is I actually mixed this much earlier for this demonstration. So you can see what that looks like once it settles out. And you can see, in fact, toluene is clear and the carbon powder just sits right there at the bottom. Uh, if this had any appreciable amount of C60 in it, that, that solution right there would be purple, and it is not. All right, so that's the, the demonstration. Um, again, it's activated charcoal. It can be a good product. Uh, it definitely does not have C60 in it. Um, if you're interested in getting C60 in really in the, in the form that has created all the excitement about C60, which is in olive oil, uh, our C60, actually SES Research was referenced in the original study where the test subjects given our product lived 90% longer. And you can get uh, our original grade from our site, sesres.com, our fine grade also from that site. We're actually, uh, well, we're running a special, but those specials change pretty regularly. Uh, and then you can also go, this is going to be our retail brand. Uh, this is launched, but it's a soft launch. Uh, and you can get that from myvitalc.com. Thank you for your time and subscribe and follow.